In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We welcome all of you today, and we ask for God's very special blessings through Our Lady of Fatima. Throughout the world and through all the parishes who are celebrating this closing celebration of the centennial celebration of the apparition of Our Lady of Fatima. We are sure that through the intercession of Our Lady, God will truly bless us tonight. There will be miracles, there will be conversion of heart, there will be healing, and many will return back to God. We pray with courage, we pray with faith, and we celebrate with joy that this will happen because God loves us. Our Lady loves us, and we love her. And she will never fail us, as she has never failed to provide us, first and foremost, with the most beautiful weather for tonight's celebration. So in faith, let us pause for a few moments in silence, with deep gratitude to God for all the blessings that he has shown us, for our deep and abundant blessings that we have received from him. As we become more fully aware of how blessed we are to have a God who is infinitely merciful and compassionate to us. For the times that we fail him and fail to love one another in so many ways, yet God remains patient and forgiving. But for such times that we have failed to appreciate such merciful love and have forgotten to thank the Lord, we ask him for his mercy, peace, and forgiveness as we pray. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pause to pray for our needs, the needs of our family, our archdiocese, the church, and the world. So much in need of receiving the compassionate healing grace and forgiving love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, that through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrows and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had ascended into heaven, the apostles went back to Jerusalem. A short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude, son of James. All these joined in continuous prayer, together with several women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The word of the Lord. Though 
He protects Israel, His servant, remembering His mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. The Almighty was. Gospel according to Saint Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to Mary, the angel said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But Mary was great greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be the great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? Since I have no relation with a man. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth. Your relative has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is 
the sixth month for her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible for god mary said behold i am the handmaid of the lord may it be done to me according to your word then the angel departed from her the gospel of the lord Dear brothers and sisters in Christ <clears throat> we have heard today's proclamation of the annunciation the faith of mary must surely be a source of inspiration for all of us how she was able to dare to trust the message of the angel gabriel as coming from god and knowing that the impossible can become possible because of god god's will will be fulfilled and can be done through her because she was willing to say yes in obedience to god's will the impossible can become possible because the divine power can give what is humanly impossible possible because god's will is for the salvation of the world and the greater glory of god tonight not only in the many parishes in singapore all around the world the celebration of the closing of the centennial celebration of our lady of fatima's apparition our faith in our lady has been practiced for 2000 years many christians many have died for their faith as martyrs and saints they are now all in heaven looking down on all of us and the world praying for us in the presence of god that all of us experience the miracle that is going to happen and and what humanly is impossible will become possible for us if we only like mary say yes and be obedient to god's will all of us are sinners There are millions of people suffering in the world. We must not lose hope. Thousands upon thousands and millions have left the church. Many continue to live in sin and cause division and destruction in families and in the world. But we as Christians must like our lady have the faith to believe that what is humanly impossible will become possible through the intercession of our lady of fatima who will make it possible because she will take all our petitions 
and all our needs and all the suffering people in the world and embrace all of these and present them to her son who had given his life to be crucified that God's will be fulfilled. We need to dare to trust God like Our Lady. What did Mary say? How can this be? I do not know any man. How can I conceive a child? I'm a virgin. The angel says, do not be afraid. In the minds of many sinners, in the hearts of many who are suffering for many, many years and tending and have given up hope tonight, we must dare to open our hearts to receive the graces that God wants to give to all of us, not only in this church, but to all believers in the world, indeed, including non-Christians, who dare to open their hearts and their minds to the truth of the salvific love of Jesus, our Lord and Redeemer. Can we believe many who have suffered so much and many of us who continue to sin habitually will tend to be skeptical because of our poor track record, so to speak. But let us be, remind ourselves of what Mary said. Thy will be done. In saying that, she accepted what the angel said. Do not be afraid. We must not be afraid. Fear is more than a human emotional hindrance. It can also be instilled in us and planted by the bad spirit and the evil spirit who wants to prevent us from truly entrusting ourselves and fully believing that God is a God of unconditional love and infinite mercy. We must dare to let go and let God transform our lives. This is a petition and the longings of the hearts of millions of people in the world. But all of these heartaches, pain and suffering and longings of the heart will be brought by the angel to heaven through the intercession of Our Lady. It's a 100 year petition to God and God will not fail. He will not fail, he will not disappoint us. On a lesser note, yet important, many in our team who is engaged in planning tonight's event have asked me, Father, what if it rains? Should we set up tents? You know, to set up tents around the cathedral will cost about 15 to 20 million dollars, no, 15 to 20 thousand dollars, not million, okay? You know, on one hand, it's a practical consideration, but on the other hand, we cannot behave as though we have no faith in God. Like the dedication service, like the celebration of the first few days, of Our Lady's statue arrival from Portugal and from, from Rome, I always tell them, no plan B. Because we have to dare to believe that Our Lady will not let this happen. He loves us too much 
to let rain disappoint and disrupt the celebration that we all long to have as a meaningful experience of our faith. And look at the numbers who have turned up tonight, not only here, but elsewhere and around the world. We all show clearly we love Our Lady and she loves us. And it is clear that yesterday was pouring cats and dogs, but it is to clear the air, to clean the air. For tonight is the real celebration. Many tells me it is a rainy season. They gives me all kinds of whispers in my ears. But we have to dare to go beyond the whispers of people who are very practical and say in our hearts, God will make what is humanly impossible possible. So tonight, I believe in my hearts of heart. Whoever dares to open our hearts to the Lord will experience a conversion of heart. Whoever who has lost their faith will return to the church. Whoever who has not gone for confession for many years or for some time will feel the inspiration to be reconciled with God through the sacrament of confession. Those who have been suffering for many years will be healed if we dare to trust that what is impossible can be possible. We must not dare, we must not be afraid we must dare to continue to be people of faith. And people of faith means to say yes to God whose will for every one of us is the salvation of our souls and the glory of God. However that is going to happen, it will happen tonight whether healing or conversion is going to take immediately or tomorrow or in the coming weeks, it will happen. But it depends on us. Are we going to have the heart and disposition and faith that Our Lady had to dare to say yes to God's will and leave the future in the hands of God who loves us totally and unconditionally to the point of laying his life and die on the cross for our sake and for our salvation. Remember, God is real. It is difficult to experience and believe this for those who have suffered much, for those who have forgotten God and no longer feel who God is in their lives, who are steep in sin and continue to be locked into the depth of sin, of addiction, of habitual sin of all kinds that cause destruction to our own lives and the lives of people we love. Infidelity. Pornography. Gossip that destroys people. Illnesses that takes away our hope in God because of the pain. All kinds of discouraging influences will surely come our way because to believe in God is to believe in a reality that God is still present to us in spite of the deep and painful challenges of life. But like Our Lady, we must not 
lose hope. We must dare to believe. This is the hundredth anniversary of an apparition that had brought great conversion to the world and tonight in the world too. Let us pray. Later this evening, after the Eucharist, when we pray the Rosary, remember Our Lady of Fatima said, I am the Our Lady of the Rosary. Do not forget that the Rosary draws us closer to her Son through the contemplation of the life of Jesus. It captures the essence of the Gospel and of our faith. It's not pure, pietistic, superstitious repetition of prayer which outsiders who have not experienced the joy and the glory and the graces of the prayer will tend to be skeptical about. Pray for them. Let us pray tonight that regardless of how skeptical we may be about the conversion that God wants to bring about, of the renewal of faith, of those who have, those of us who have faith, to bring it to a new level of our relationship with the Lord will surely happen. Remove all our prejudices and our biasness about faith, about people, and about all our painful sufferings in the world. All that God wants of us is to become like Our Lady, to be that selfless person, to recognize in humility we are mere servants of God. If we want God's graces to penetrate our hearts and bring forth a new life and a new creation and make us truly a person of God, then our focus must be a selfless focus. One of the reasons why God's graces cannot penetrate our hearts and bring about conversion and healing is because one of the main hindrances of graces of God is we are too preoccupied with our own lives and our needs. And as such, we, our hearts are not selfless enough to desire God's will. What did Our Lady's response sound like? Like all human beings, she had every reason to fear for her life and for her death that she may be stoned to death. But she was moved and filled with God's graces, inspired by God's message and God's will through the angel, and she said, Thy will be done. At utter selflessness and humility, that is why God was able to make what was humanly impossible, possible. So tonight, God's appeal to you and to me is to pray for the graces we need primarily to be totally selfless. The moment we think of our needs in life, and our worries, and our pains, and our hurts. Remember, it's human. And that's fine. It's human to feel the worries and the pains of life. As Mary felt, very much so. But when we say, Mary's selflessness brought about her ability to say yes to God and the incarnation of our Lord through the Holy Spirit, her selflessness is when she was able through God's grace and strength and wisdom 
transcend her fears and worries of life and surrendered her whole life and her future in God's will and hands. Can we dare to entrust our future in God's hands? That is the primary grace we need to beg Our Lady to give us tonight. And not be distracted and sidelined by the human needs. We are made by God, for God, for all eternity. And so we are called to transcend all our human needs and worries and pains and surrender them to God who will embrace all our needs and who will answer all our prayers to bring forth a new creation in our hearts, to bring forth the needed conversion, renewal of our faith, and a transformation in our heart. God has a personal message to each and every one of us here tonight. He did not bring you here for no reason. Many of you came at, I hear, at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Not because you want to have a better seat. It's because you love Our Lady. You want to have that seat to be able to participate more fully in this spiritual experience in tonight's celebration. There will be resistances to God's will. While it is human, let us go beyond our human limitation that prevents God from working through our lives. As I said from the beginning, God wants the miracle to happen to you and to me and to the entire Christian world, including those who do not yet know God and the good news. Make it happen. Trust in the Lord. Surrender and have the courage and hear in your ears and feel in your heart what the angel said to Mary, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Why? Because our whole life and our future is to be surrendered into God's providence who loves us totally and unconditionally. Let us make it happen. And if you still feel some residue of doubt, pray for the grace that we can then make it happen. Lord, give me the grace of my unbelief that I can believe and surrender to your will and providence. And in order to be that selfless person, remember and remind ourselves daily we are mere servants of God. As Mary, inspired by the Spirit, say, I am the handmaid of the Lord, and my soul glorifies the Lord. And if we are humble enough to recognize that as a child of God, we are mere servants of God, to bring forth the glory of God's love and truth, that our life is meant to be lived for all eternity, then we will have the wisdom like Our Lady to say, Yes, Lord, thy will be done. Before I end, I'd like to remind ourselves one of the selfless, one of the ways that if we truly desire to be that selfless person, 
it is not only about saying yes, it is living that yes. And part of living that yes is to begin to see Christ in others. And one of the hindrances of preventing us from seeing Christ in others is our prejudice. To break that prejudice, I urge everyone to learn to love the poor, to learn to love the needy, the aged, and those who are suffering. As we are suffering ourselves in different ways, feel the pain and the suffering of the poor, the needy, the aged, whoever whom you have come across and know who are suffering. Feel, empathize, be compassionate to all of these people because God loves them. And if we cannot love them, how can we remove the hindrance in our hearts to ask God for that transformation to allow God to work in our hearts? Humility includes loving our enemies, praying for those who have hurt us, and forgiving the most painful experiences of those who have caused hurts and destructions in our life. This is precisely what Jesus did when he accepted the humility to be, to be hung on the cross as our Savior and Lord. And what did Jesus do? He did that precisely to do the Father's will. Mary echoed what was fulfilled, what was to be fulfilled by Jesus when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and said, Father, if possible, remove this cup, but not my will, your will be done. And the last breath, what did Jesus say? Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And it is accomplished. He took his last breath, fulfilling the Father's will. Let us pray and pause for a few moments simply to open our hearts, our minds to the transforming love of God that what God wants to give to you, to me, and to all peoples in the world. And having been challenged by the gospel of Christ, let us renew our faith in God as we pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer our prayers to the Father who knows our needs, the needs of the church and the world, who feels the suffering and the pain of those who go through much trials and tribulation in life, and who knows through his compassionate love our need for renewal of our faith and the conversion of our hearts and the world. For Pope Francis, bishops and clergy, may our loving Lord and our Blessed Mother continue to bless them for their life of love, sacrifice and dedication they give freely to the Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the salvation of the world, may we unite in praying the Rosary for peace and that the devotion of the Most Holy Rosary may be spread far and wide. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our country, may they always keep in mind what is morally right and serve to protect the people regardless of race, language or culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, that we may grow in fellowship and that our lives of faith may lead others to a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ as we celebrate the Feast of our Blessed Mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local religious community, may our God strengthen and encourage all those who seek to serve and guide those who serve to be humble. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of violence, tragic accidents and natural disaster, may they find strength in God and comfort in prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from illness, depression, disability, addiction, disappointment, poverty, and hopelessness. May they take refuge in the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary and trust that God is close to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families and friends who love us, care for our needs, listen to us in our desperation, comfort those who are trying to get back on their feet but feel there are more obstacles than solutions. May God grant them peace, patience, and perseverance to continue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a few moments in silence to pray for the many people whom we know who are going through much trials and tribulations in their lives. We pray for ourselves too, that God through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, will truly send forth the graces we need to say yes to God in the conversion of our hearts and the conversion of the world, especially those who continue to live in the darkness of sin, that they will truly experience the healing grace of God and we too become God's healing grace and light to all those who are suffering. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers through the intercession of Our Lady. Send forth your Spirit to renew us, to transform the world and transform our hearts that all will experience the true hope of living the good news of salvation in your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us present all of these prayers and place them in the hands of Our Lady of Fatima as we say, Hail Mary. 
Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May we seek to do God's will with greater generosity of heart as we pray. Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heat the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to seek for reward. Save that of knowing, I do your most holy will. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of our Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petitions may go unanswered, no requests may be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this celebration of Our Lady of Fatima, of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the light, the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, sprout throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William Go, our Bishop, all the bishops and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Please pause for a few moments. We will have to prepare the candles and light your candles before the procession. Please remain silent and pray to Our Lady in your heart for the conversion, for the transformation that we mentioned today. The altar servers will now light your candles. Please light each other's candle. Later, 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 later. Please remain silent.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Just to let you know that we will proceed with the candlelight procession together with Our Lady of Fatima statue around the church compound and return to the church. During the procession, hymns will be sung. When the procession is completed, we will recite, we will pray five decades of the rosary each decade in different languages to symbolize the universality of the church. After the recitation and meditation of the rosary, we will then bring out the blessed sacrament. And after which there will be a healing service. Immediately after the healing service or we will bring the blessed sacrament around the church that the Lord himself will then bring forth the needed healing, conversion of heart and renewal of faith. Okay, then we will end with benediction and after the benediction is over, there will be a Thanksgiving celebration supper for everyone. We have prepared for 1,500 people. If not enough, you share. Okay. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us live the Eucharist that we have just celebrated and the Gospel more fully in our daily lives.
Please kneel, we will bring out the Blessed Sacrament for our Healing Grace session. Incline unto our aid, O God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We offer this rosary for the following intentions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops and clergies. For the conversion of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. For peace in the world, peace in our country, peace in our church, peace in our homes, peace in our families, and peace in our hearts. For the souls in purgatory, and especially the forgotten souls. For our own personal intention. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this time, and in Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today we will meditate on the five sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony of Jesus in the garden. Jesus falls upon his face in an agony, being overwhelmed by what he knows he must suffer the next day in atonement for the sins of mankind. He prays to God, My Father, if it be possible, let this chalice pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. An angel came and comforted Jesus, St. Luke's Gospel says, and being in an agony, he prayed the longer. We ask our Blessed Mother to help us to forsake ourselves to God to always do his will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of Jesus at the pillar. Jesus was stripped of his clothes and tied to a stone pillar. He was surrounded by the bloodthirsty mob who were shouting and encouraging the cruel Roman soldiers as they lashed his divine flesh with leather whips tipped with sharp stones. Blood flowed forth and his flesh was torn from his sacred body. How many pains! How many torments and how many wounds on the body of Jesus? How much blood falls to the ground while his tormentors laugh, insult him and gather their strength to hit the innocent body of Jesus again. We ask our Blessed Mother to help us to accept every insult for the love of our Lord and also a true regret for our sins. Yesusopian 祝你同在,你在父女中受讚頌,你的親子耶穌同受讚頌。为我们罪人祈求天主阿门天主圣母玛利亚你在妇女中受赞颂为我们罪人祈求天主阿门
，为我们罪人祈求天主阿门。万父玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂。你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂。天主圣母玛利亚，求你现在和我们临终时，为我们罪人祈求天主阿门。愿光荣归于父及子及圣神。起初如何，今日依然，直到永远。阿门。无主耶稣，请宽恕我们的罪过，救我们于永火之中。主，你把众人的灵魂，特别是那些需要你怜悯的灵魂。领到天国里去。阿弥。As if it wasn't bad enough, having Jesus scourged, the cruel soldiers mocked him and crowned him with thorns. They clothed him in a scarlet robe, the colour of royalty. Then they pressed upon Jesus a thorn crown. They placed a reed into his right hand and made fun of his divine kingship, mocking him all the while with their pretend coronation. We ask our Blessed Mother to give us the gift of patience to accept all humiliations, thinking of how Jesus suffered for us. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificet tu nomen tuum, aveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Quotidianum da nobis sodi. Et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicutet nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentationem, se libera nos amano. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in hora mortis nostri, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, 
Non et hora mortis nostra. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mother Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et hora mortis nostra. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus, e benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et hora mortis nostra. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut era in principio, et non et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Mi Jesu, induce peccatum nostra, Conserva nos a vigne infene, du omnes a celi gloria, praticu et tua misericordia agentes. mystery, the carrying of the cross. After Jesus was mocked and crowned with thorns, he was stripped of the purple robe and dressed in his own clothing. This caused such torment for the wounds from the scourging were reopened and pained Jesus anew. Jesus was then forced to carry his own cross to Calvary. We ask our Blessed Mother let us pray to Mary for the grace to always accept our cross. Ave Maria, Megumini Michitakata, Shua, Anata to Tomoni Oralemas, Anata, Ona no Jesu Sare, Kotaina in Onko, Yes Moshku Kusare de Imas, Kamino Haha Se Maria, Watashta Chimibito no Tameni.今も死を迎える時もお祈りください。アーメン。アベマリア、恵みに満ちた方、主はあなたと共におられます。あなたは女の内で祝福され、ご体内の恩をイエスも祝福されています。神の母、聖マリア、私たち罪人のために今も死を
神の母聖マリア私たち罪人のために今も死を迎える時もお祈りくださいアーメンアベマリア恵みに満ちた方主はあなたと共におられますあなたは女のうちで祝福され母体内の恩子イエスも祝福されています神の母聖マリア私たち罪人のために今も死を迎える時もお祈りくださいアーメンアベマリア恵みに満ちた方主はあなたと共におられますあなたは女のうちで祝福され母体内の恩子イエスも祝福されています神の母聖マリア私たち罪人のために今も死を迎える時もお祈りくださいアーメンアベマリア恵みに満ちた方主はあなたと共におられますあなたは女のうちで祝福され母体内の恩子イエスも祝福されています神の母聖マリア私たち罪人のために今も死を迎える時もお祈りくださいアーメン栄光は父と子と精霊に初めのように今もいつもよいようにアーメン主イエスキリスト私たちの罪をお許しください私たちを滅びから救いすべての人々ことに恩憐れみを最も必要としている人々を天国に導いてくださいアーメンアーメン The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. When Jesus looked down upon his sorrowing mother, he said to her, Woman, behold thy son. Then, looking at St. John, Jesus said, Behold thy mother. Jesus was not only asking St. John to care for Mary, which he did, but Jesus was also giving Mary to be the mother of all. Dear Mother Mary, we trust in you. Take us and put us in the refuge of your immaculate heart. Heal with your humility our pride that so often takes us far from God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this time, and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this time, and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this hour, and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this hour, and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this time, and in the hour of our 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Mother of God, that we may be of Let us pray. O God, God whose only, only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal life. Grant we beseech you that meditating upon this mystery in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may maintain what they contain and obtain what they promise. To same Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are present before our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. He is with us. He wants to heal us and free us from our sinfulness and bring about the conversion of hearts from all our sinfulness and to draw back and bring back all the sinners in the world back to the sacred heart of Jesus who is filled with mercy and compassion. We pray for the healing grace of those who are wounded and are in need of God's loving, compassionate love. As I go through the prayers, I would urge you 
to close your eyes. Later, I will ask you to kneel and close your eyes and imagine yourself before our Lord, whose hands are extended over you as the angel Gabriel extended her hands over Our Lady when she announced the good news that she is chosen to be the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and how Our Lady with great openness and courage and trust opened her mind and heart and in saying that yes she conceived the Lord himself in her womb through the power of the Holy Spirit as I lead you through the prayers some of the prayers you may know are referring personally to each of you some of the prayers may be directed to other people whom you know are going through such pain suffering and sin whichever prayer that is directed to you open your heart is primarily the grace of God to heal each and every one of us here and for those who are not able to be present direct and pray for them that they too will be converted healed and renewed in their faith so open your hearts and your mind and with great humility I ask you to pray now as I will ask the Lord to bring forth healing conversion and renewal of faith after this prayers I will bring the Blessed Sacrament our Lord himself in procession and during the procession I will also say some prayers of invocation asking the Lord himself to bring forth that healing conversion of heart and renewal so I ask you to please kneel as you prepare your hearts and mind to surrender your whole self to the Lord whom we invoke on this centennial celebration of Our Lady of Fatima that through her intercession Our Lady will truly bring forth the abundant graces we need in our lives for our conversion for our healing and for the renewal of our faith in our homes in our country in the church and in the world please close please switch off your mobile phones and please close your eyes God our Heavenly Father has become before you on our knees before our Lord Jesus Christ in the Blessed Sacrament we beg of you through your mercy and compassionate love feel and see the sufferings of all of us and of all in the church and the world in your mercy Lord bring forth healing grace and liberate all of us who long to experience your love and who long to live the life that your father wills of us a life in union with his love we pray through the intercession of Mary our mother Our Lady of Fatima who longs for the conversion of the world that you through your mercy of the Sacred Heart will truly bring forth healing of all of us who are present here on our knees and all the many 
in our archdiocese and in the world, longing to be healed, longing for conversion, and longing for renewal of our faith. So now our Lord Jesus Christ, who is before us, we ask you to heal the woundedness of our hearts, to help us to experience your healing grace, that all the pains and the woundedness of relationships are healed through your mercy and compassion. Be with us and give us your merciful love that we will truly be healed through your mercy and compassion. We pray for those who are hurting and have caused us so much pain and suffering to us and to our family for the sins that they have committed that have brought pain, division and destruction to our families through infidelity. Lord, may you heal them and open their hearts to that value of the sacredness of marriage. Lord, may you also heal the many priests and religious who have been unfaithful in their vows that they have made. Bring them back and restore them to the fullness of their faith and vocation and vows that they have professed. We pray, Lord, for the many who are addic addicted in many ways to all kinds of sins, of pornography, of gambling, of drinking, of smoking, and of all kinds of addiction to sexual immorality. Lord, through your compassionate love and mercy, may you bring forth healing and liberate all of us sinners that we can then once again be restored to your love and be healed by your merciful love. And in being healed, may we once again be restored to our relationship with you and to our family and loved ones whom we have caused so much pain and suffering. Give us that grace to know the gravity of what we have done that has brought pain and suffering to the lives of family and people through our sinfulness. Lord, we ask you also to heal us of our illnesses, the illnesses that we have experienced that have brought us a lot of pain and suffering. Whoever we are, through your compassionate love, feel the pain of our illness and debilitation and helplessness. Give us your light and your grace that we be restored in accordance to your will, the health that you will of us, that as we are healed by you, may we learn to be grateful to you and may we serve you throughout the rest of our lives. Heavenly Father, for those of us who are lukewarm in our faith, may you renew our faith. May you give us the wisdom to overcome our materialistic tendencies that binds us to the possessions and power, to the privileges and to the prestige and the, and the addiction to the comforts of life. May you give us that love and wisdom to be detached from all of these worldly things and be attached to your heart and to your love. 
give us that wisdom to know that all of these material attachment and the secular world do not bring peace but bring us division and make us self-centered and proud free us lord of all of these evils of the world that seem to be harmless but have robbed us of our love and relationship with you give us that freedom and the wisdom to use all the blessings you have given us for your kingdom and for the people you wish that we share all of these blessings including our families our loved ones and especially the marginalized the poor the aged and the helpless of society give us that wisdom of heart to value all of these people in your name that when we see them we see your face that we have the heart to feel their pain and suffering and not be over zealous in providing for our own needs that we see that you have blessed us in order that we can use our blessings for all of these less privileged and wounded and suffering people of the world heavenly father you have blessed us in abundance help us to use the gifts the blessings and the charisms you have given us to renew our beloved archdiocese of singapore as you know many have left the church many continue to leave the church not only in our country but in all parts of the world bring forth that wisdom and light to see the truth and once again restore our archdiocese and all the churches around the world on this very special invocation of our lady of fatima that the world will be converted that evil will cease that those who perpetrate and destroy lives will once again see the value of lives those who destroy lives through abortion who destroy lives through euthanasia capital punishment ethnic cleansing and all kinds of evil that destroy life and destroy your creation in the world lord help us to be repentant of our sins help us not to contribute any more to your painful heart that continue to suffer because we have contributed to the sins of this world lord we beg you through this intercession of our lady to free us to heal us and to bring forth renewal in the church we make this prayer through christ our lord amen i shall now bring forth the blessed sacrament of our lord to all peoples as i process feel the presence of our lord jesus christ feel him healing you feel him bringing forth the conversion of heart that you long to have and the many millions of people are longing to have that the renewal of faith in our hearts in our homes and in our archdiocese and in the world will truly transform our lives and our church the lord is truly present to us in the blessed sacrament and as bring our lord around feel his loving presence his healing grace and his freedom of what it is to live for him and to say yes with great courage and trust as mary did and so once again we ask our lady to accompany our lord as i bring him around to bring forth the healing grace the conversion and renewal of heart
God, our Heavenly Father, throughout Jesus Christ, present to us in this blessed sacrament, as I bring you forth, accompanied by Our Lady of Fatima, may you, through the longing of our hearts, bring forth the healing grace that we long to experience. Truly, we will all be set free from our sinfulness so that we can live always for you and for your greater glory. Bring forth that healing. Bring forth that repentance that we need so that truly we can become your son and daughter and become faithful to you and show you forth the good news of salvation through our lives, in our daily living, with our families, and to all peoples. Open your hearts and mind now for the healing grace of God that he will transform you and make you truly one with him, reconciled, loved, and forgiven by our Lord Jesus Christ. God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you, to your compassionate love, attend to the sufferings of this world that come in so many ways that destroy lives. We pray for the victim of those who suffer so much because, because this that brings suffering to the world. They are the marginalized and the poor. Lord, give them your comforting love, your
Many are suffering, many long to have you as their Lord and Savior. Come to us as we beg of you to give us that wisdom we need to live our daily lives in accordance with your will. Help us with your grace to live our lives more fully in your ways and overcome the sin of pride, the sin of selfishness and the sin of greed that focuses on our own needs but have forgotten the many people who suffer around us. Open our eyes and our hearts to all of these people who are also loved by you and forgiven by you. As we ask you, Lord, to forgive us to your compassionate love and mercy, give us also that same heart that is willing to forgive, willing to show that compassionate love to all of these suffering people. Lord Jesus, we pray that you bring forth that healing grace in our hearts so that we can, can become more like you, our Lord Jesus, to others who are suffering. May we not take for granted how much all of these people are suffering. May we love every single person whom you were placed in our lives so that we, we, like Our Lady, can always say yes to your will and be your instrument of salvation to all peoples through our lives. Can we find a friend? 
God, our Heavenly Father, you know our sinfulness, oh, our sinfulness. Send forth your Holy Spirit that we may repent of our sins and experience the sting of conscience of how in different ways we ourselves have caused much hurt and pain through our lifestyle of addiction. Free us from the scourge of addiction that destroys our families, destroys relationship, and squanders the blessings that you continue to give us and takes for granted the, your merciful love. You know we are helpless. It is in you that we have hope and believe that what is impossible for us to overcome, you through your infinite mercy and love can free us of all of these addictions. The addictions of pornography the addictions of gambling, the addictions of foul languages, the addiction of pride, the addiction that destroy people's life through our gossips and through our prejudices in life. Free us, Lord, that we can truly live speak and act daily with your love and with your compassion for all peoples. As you hear words of the hymn, hear Jesus speaking to you in your hearts. The compassionate love of Jesus who wants to heal you and free you of all your sinfulness and bring forth the conversion of heart that is so much needed in us, in our families, in all relationships and in the church and the world.
Lord God, we ask you to pray. We pray for our church leaders, all our political leaders, and those in power around the world, in our church, and in all different institutions and organizations. May you bless them with the wisdom to value human lives that in all their decisions they make, that they value every human person as truly precious to you as your child whom you created out of love. May they never despise the poor ones and be motivated by profit, financial profits, and power and glory. Lord, you are almighty and you love all who are suffering and are helpless and marginalized in this world. We pray for the conversion of hearts of all of these political, church leaders and those in power. That they will truly experience the true value of every human person and of your creation and beauty in the ecological world that is created by your perfection and love. That we do not take the blessings of the environment and ecology for granted. That we value them because to destroy them is to destroy and bring forth suffering, especially to those who are poor. For those of us who are in position of influence and power, may we too experience a conversion of hearts to value every life that you have created and every creature in the world that you have placed.
You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Please be seated. Just before our final hymn, I just like to thank the many, many, many people who really have labored so hard to prepare for tonight's celebration and actually for the three nights of celebration when Our Lady of Fatima statue came to our church here. Let us give them an appreciation. So as we conclude the celebration of the centennial celebration of the apparition of Our Lady at Fatima, we need to rejoice. So, well, you know, with a limited budget, we still are able to provide for you, I believe, a decent supper for 1,500 people. So please uh, enjoy the food. If it's not enough, share the food. Okay? So thank you very much for joining in this celebration and let us stand for the closing hymn to thank Our Lady.
ว่าเลยลุยเพราะ